The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of John, chapter 4, verses 1 through 42. There had been trouble between Jews and Samaritans for hundreds of years. Samaritans worship God differently. They believe different things. They talked differently. In fact, Jews thought it was a sin to spend any time with a Samaritan. So when the road branched and Jesus took the road towards Samaria, his friends were probably shocked. Whoa, uh, slow your roll. Hardly anyone takes this road. But Jesus didn't slow down. Uh, Jesus? It looks like he's planning to go right through Samaria. Oh boy. The day grew hot as Jesus and his friends trudged through Samaritan territory. They finally reached the town of Sychar. We'll rest here. Isn't this Jacob's well from way back when? I think so. More than a thousand years ago, Jacob had dug this well, and it was still called by his name. Jesus, you look pretty tired. Yeah, you wait here. We'll go into the town and get some food. Hopefully we don't have to talk to any of these people. Exhausted, Jesus sank down onto the bench beside the well. The sun beat down. He was thirsty, but he had no bucket to draw water from the well. Soon, a Samaritan woman arrived at the well. Few women came to draw water in the heat of the day, so it's likely that she was avoiding the other women of the town. When she saw Jesus, the woman stopped and looked away. Men rarely spoke with women in public, and a Jewish man would never be seen with a Samaritan woman. Will you give me a drink? The woman nearly dropped her bucket as she stared in amazement at Jesus. You are a Jew. I'm a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? You do not know who is asking you for a drink. If you did, you would have asked him. He would have given you living water. Sir, you don't have anything to get water with. Where can you get this living water? Our father Jacob gave us the well. Are you more important than he is? Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But anyone who drinks the water I give them will never be thirsty. In fact, the water I give them will become a spring of water in them. It will flow up into eternal life. The woman wasn't sure what to make of Jesus' words, but she did know how tired she was of coming every day in the heat of the day to get water, of hiding from her neighbors who talked behind her back. Sir, give me this water, then I will never be thirsty, and I won't have to keep coming here. Go, get your husband and come back. This request made sense, because at that time, it was unusual for a man and woman to talk alone. I have no husband. Jesus already knew this. In fact, Jesus knew everything about the woman's life, even the pain she held in her heart. You're right when you say you have no husband. In fact, you've had five husbands, and the man you live with now is not your husband. Once again, the woman stared at Jesus in wonder. Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. Our people have always worshiped on this mountain. But you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. A new time is coming. In fact, it's already here. True worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth. They are the kind of worshipers the Father is looking for. The woman felt as though her head was spinning. I know that the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything. Jesus looked directly into her eyes. The Messiah you're talking about? That's me. I'm he. Those words settled deep into the woman's heart. She knew they were true, and that this truth was bigger than all the messiness, confusion, and sin in her own life. Jesus, we got some bread and honey. Oh, and uh, we forgot to leave you the water jar. Jesus' friends had returned, but they stopped when they saw the Samaritan woman. I, 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 I was just going. 
The woman was so excited by what she'd experienced that she ran back into town, leaving her water bucket behind. Instead of hiding from her neighbors, she shared her news with everyone she could find. Come, see a man who told me everything I've ever done. He knows everything about me. C could this be the Messiah? The villagers of Sychar listened to the woman. They came to see Jesus and begged him to stay. For two days, Jesus spent time with the Samaritans, something that would have been shocking to other Jews. And many of the Samaritans believed in him. We know this man really is the savior of the world. Even though the Samaritan woman had made wrong choices and been rejected by others, Jesus chose to talk with her. He made it clear that no matter what she'd done or how she'd been treated, that she mattered to him. And so did all the other Samaritans. The woman from Samaria was probably overlooked for much of her life, partly because of the choices she'd made, partly because of where she was born. But Jesus didn't overlook her. He truly saw her. And by talking with her, he showed her that she mattered. She wasn't invisible to Jesus. We should show people they matter too, especially people who are sometimes forgotten or overlooked. You and your mom or dad could ask them about their day. Hello, friendly mail carrier. How is your day going? <gasps> so good. Thanks for asking. How about you? You can show someone they matter by introducing yourself if you've never met. Hello, chef. Oh, hello, Erica. So nice to meet you you as well. Or you can help someone out without being asked. Sometimes all you need to do to show someone they matter is to say thank you. Oh, 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 Mr. Garbage Man. Yes? I, I just wanted to say thanks so much for keeping our neighborhood so clean. Oh, oh, no problem. So be on the lookout for people who might feel invisible. Right, it could be the new kid at school or someone who's shy, right? Or someone who might seem a little different. If you've ever felt overlooked, then you know how important it is when someone reaches out to show you that you matter. That's the one thing to remember today. Show others that they matter because no one likes to feel invisible, right? Right! You're so great, little Erica. Thanks, big Erica. Okay, <laughs> see you next time. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, let's go. Bye.